We're going to continue on the learn typography by building a nutrition label on FreeCodeCamp. So we're on step 11. So if you inspect your label element with your browser's developer tools, you may notice that it's actually 288 pixels wide rather than 270. Um, so if you don't know how to do that already, I am on Chrome here and I'm just going to right click and then click inspect. And that will open the dev tools here. Um, and I think at this point, I don't think FreeCodeCamp have mentioned this. So yeah, that might be new to you. So if so, what I'm going to do is click this little selector here. And if I hover um, over the box, um, firstly, you can see here we're setting the width of 270, but actually the width of the container, and hopefully you can see that down there, um, it's sort of on the top right hand side of the box below saying 288 by 165.38 um, just here. Um, oh, I can't sort of hover over it at the same time, but yeah, essentially um, it is actually 288 pixels. And so the reason for this is because by default, the browser includes border and padding when determining an element size. So to resolve this, we just want to do the star, which is the all selector, and we'll do box dash sizing. Um, border dash box like so and doing that as you can see now um, it's come in a bit and it is now 270 pixels so step 12 remember that the use of h1 h2 and similar tags um, determine the semantic structure of your html however you can adjust the css of these elements to control the visual flow and hierarchy so create a h1 rule uh, like here and set its font weight weight to 800 and this is 800 uh, just the number <clears throat> and there you go you can see that's bolder already so font weight sets the boldness um, of text and then we want to give this text dash align and center like so perfect so step 14, fine tune the replacement, uh, sorry, fine tune the placement of your H1 by giving it a top and bottom margin of four minus four pixels and left and right of zero. So we'll just do the margin um, shorthand property. So top and bottom is the first value and left and right is the second. So there we go, it's moved up. So create a P selector and remove all margins. So we'll do margin uh, zero here like so and lines can help separate and group important content especially when space is limited create a div below your h1 and give it a class set to uh, attribute to divider so we're going to create the div here like so and give that a class of equal to divider like so perfect Step 17, create a selector for your new divider, so dot divider to target the class and set the border bottom to one pixel solid. And I'm going to copy this hex code for the color, like so. That's just light gray. And we also want to give it a top and bottom margin of 2px. So margin would be 2px, top and bottom, and then zero left and right, as they've suggested. So step 18, the letter spacing property can be used to adjust the space between each character. Um, so within the H1, do letter dash spacing, and it'll be 0.15 pixels. And that spaces it out a little bit more. There we go. And step 19, nutrition labels have a lot of bold text um, to draw attention to important information. So rather than targeting each element that needs to be bold, it's more efficient to use a class to apply the bold style to every element. So give your second P element, which is this one, a class, and we'll title that as bold. There we go. And finally, for this video, step 20, your new class does not have any styling yet. Create a bold selector and give it a font weight of 800 and remove the font weight um, from the H1. So I'm gonna take that off and I'll put it down here because it's the class selector of bold. And if I paste that back in, font weight, as you can see now, is 800 for that second P tag. Let's just check that. Um, oh, perfect, that's all good. Cool, so thanks for watching. I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.